Yesterday was the start of some of that high heat, high humidity that we've been experiencing. And yesterday's temperature got us up to 93 degrees. It's hot. It was hot. Not not the hottest temperature we've seen this summer and heat index values for our official reading only 102, but it is going to continue to build today and tomorrow, especially with those excessive heat warnings in place now for all counties in our region right up to Iowa. So today and tomorrow will be exceptionally warm. I'm talking heat index today closer to 105. Tomorrow might be near 110 and Thursday is going to bring us a bit of a change, a transition here. Thanks to thunderstorms in the morning some cloud cover and a cold front that tries to move through the area. And speaking of fronts, we've got one that I'm following north of town, closer to the Iowa border here, as a complex of storms is riding along the northern side of this boundary. It looks like the line of storms is continuing to hold strength here. We're talking some strong wind gusts as it's about to cross the Mississippi River, but moving away from our region. We do have some new development as well, showing up in eastern Kansas, south of Topeka. Uh, we'll see how these start to develop. Might be a approaching parts of Douglas, Franklin and Anderson counties in Kansas, so we'll continue to follow that. Um, otherwise, they may be throwing some clouds our direction and bring us uh, maybe some subtle relief. I still think it's going to be a pretty toasty day today. This is four o'clock in the afternoon, watching storms in Iowa again with our area uh, increasing clouds from the south. This is important to follow tonight and tomorrow morning. Another area of activity in southern Iowa could get close to our northern counties in Missouri. This will help provide a bit of relief overnight early tomorrow morning and some of these storms may provide or produce some really strong wind gusts. So we've got to watch that for tonight between 3 a.m. and 9 o'clock tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Things start to dwindle and die down a bit more until Another front comes in from the northwest and brings us some activity with some strong storms possible. Northwest Missouri, northeast Kansas, Wednesday night to Thursday. So it is going to be an active stretch along with the high heat. Here's where the risk of severe weather is for today, although I really think we need to just watch for our few northern counties in Missouri, uh, shaving back at area uh, close to Kansas City. And then another zone on Wednesday will follow that includes northwest Missouri, and northeast Kansas along that front. So behind the front, temperatures are going to be down in the low 90s. It's still hot this weekend, but not the exceptional levels that we're dealing with today and tomorrow. And next week gets quite toasty as well.